M0FXB, we're going to have a little look at the DNR and the noise blanker. So let's do DNR first. So we'll just push it. Let's turn this volume up. So how do we change the, you know, the amount? Hold DNR. And then look, I'm at the highest level nine. Most people have it about three or four. I've called on 20 meters thinking that uh, I'm probably going to respond to I've been very happily surprised. Uh, and uh, with the higher bands too, on again. I think it works well. Right, now we're going to choose noise blanker. Turn off DNR. Now, to, to noise blanker is the button on top, top far right. Hold it down. There's the level. Put it to about eight. Let's have a listen. You're not really going to hear it because it's more if there's outside noise coming in, isn't there? Right, what else have we got on here? We've got this DNF. On. I don't see a difference on that. Uh, it's the IPO. Now, see the way that the, the scope is like full up like that. Push F, tap level, and then just turn it back until you like it, until you can sort of make more sense of the scope. If you don't like the scope, just hit 3D like that, and you'll end up with the this type. It's probably easier to find bands. The 3D looks great. I don't know if I love it. For, uh, for work in DX, but uh, I don't think this is uh, that many Italians on uh, FT8, which makes it... Uh, it is good, though. Notice the way you've got a little mini scope here. So IPO is like... If you're reading the manual, they describe why, but if it's like an audio... Sorry, it's like an amplifier watch. Talking over the top of him, and then the amount of Amp one. Somebody, Amp two. You don't really need it. Apparently IPO is going to give you the best, you know, the best quality signal. Attenuator. You can choose 6 dB, 12 dB, 8... Was it? 18 dB. I think that is needed. Sometimes the front end gets overloaded. Look at this thing here. The fact that there's thousands of With. people listening, you just make yourself look a numpty. Anyway. How do we adjust it? Oh, look. No, that's not how we adjust it. Oh, there it is there. So you tap it. Choose the one you want to adjust. And then turn it with the DSP knob. Notch. There you go. And that's it. And I think if you hold, hold, there's a DSP reset button here. It'll take you back to default. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that helps. Bye for now.